Testing one two, testing one two. Testing one two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello for us up fans. This is Earl Kinderbear as we're here from uh, East R uh, Rutherford, New Jersey tonight. And get ready for Maximum Risk. I don't know, Maximum Risk, I feel like I'm in a uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. I wonder what the heck, maybe I think Darkwood Studios might have been watching that movie to name it uh, Maximum Risk. Who knows, man? But nonetheless, here we are in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Now remember, next Friday... Cleveland, Ohio is going to be the big pay-per-view of the month. Payne's Giving. That's right. And then December, it's going to be Starcade. Well, first of all, we are going to start off with uh, Chris Bat. And just to let you kids know, this is TVMA. You're an 18. Please ask your parents' permission because this can have some coarse language in adult situations. And we don't want anybody getting in trouble and stuff like that. So, uh, could be some... Uh, could be it could be a lot of violence and uh who knows maybe some blood i mean you never know man you never know i must see wrestling card i'll tell you that much right now wherever it be fury or uh big time i'll tell you what but uh, i'm getting ready for the big turkey day spectacular known as pain's giving coming up next friday i think rumor says there might be a possibility there might be a pre-show on thanksgiving night East Rutherford, of course, the home to the uh, Jets and the Giants football teams. And I think the New Jersey Devils, if I'm correct. I don't know, I could be wrong there. But hey, I'd like to fulfill where we're all at here. I'll tell you that much. So, just to let you know. Now, here is Chris Bat. What? I don't know why the heck is he depressed. He. I, I don't know. I guess he must be depressed with all the WWE invasion he's seen over here as a late end. Uh, now rumors is that Shane McMahon says he's paid somebody on the MSW roster here a big amount of money to bring in the talent. And if I'm correct, I think I might know who it is, but I'm not going to say anything right now. And I'll tell you what. Should be interesting, uh, you know. Who knows? Hey everybody, good evening and welcome to another great episode of uh, Friday Night Furious. We present to you Maximum Risk. That's right, folks. And we, you know one match I'm interested in, uh, we got tonight, we have a big matchup. Bobby Lashley, I don't know, he's trying to mix oil and water together here, I guess, because he came to me with a weird request. He wants himself to team up with Amazing and Corey Crichton. And I don't understand, man. I know those two are each other's throats. I mean, especially with Amazing being very edgy as a late eye. I'm wondering if he's all right. I'm just wondering, man. But tonight, I have fulfilled Bobby Lashley's request. As these, all these, all three of these guys will be in this uh, Universal title match come up next Friday in Cleveland, Ohio. That's going to be going against Shane McMahon and them Orton boys. That's right. I'm talking about Randy and Rodney. That's what they've been calling themselves, boys. And you know what? It should be interesting. I'll tell you that much. I think maybe, uh, who knows? We'll see the, how the stream team does. Uh, so tonight, I have decided to split up the Wolf Pack and singles matches tonight. Lorenzo will be going against Evan Magnificent. And Wolfchild will be going against Malachi Abramoff tonight. Just to let you guys know. And basically, because with their uh, tag team title that Pope's dash right now until uh, Miller and Fisher are no longer champions right now, they're in a rock and a hard place. And then, of course, we got the 10 woman rumble we got in this first segment because what's going to decide is the winner of the match is going to get to go against Universal Champion Nova tonight. The runner up is going against Cheyenne. Just to let you know for the MSW women's title. So if you're the winner or runner-up, guess what? You're going to hit a lucky stance there. So thank you, fans, for coming out here and enjoy the card. I hope you enjoy the matches. Wow. 
Chris Bad. He's got to get out of his funk, basically. I guess he's not going to be happy until he knows that Jade is completely all right and maybe coming back. I mean, usually uh, you see him in a happy demeanor when he could see his wife at work all the time. I'll tell you that much right now. But nonetheless, you heard some of the great matches coming up here tonight. One match is going to lead to two big matches. Then we got opponents going against each other in that universal title thri triple threat match tagging up tonight. As Lashley, Crichton, and Amazing are going to be going against... Shane McMahon and them Orton boys. That's what Rodney and Randy have been calling themselves as of late. Just to let you know. But we're going to start off first. And this one should be an interesting one. The Unstoppable Daddy. Is now known as the X Division title. So that means anybody at any weight can challenge Daddy. Since uh, I guess MSW offices don't really buy into the fact that he is 205 pounds. At 7 foot 4. I don't know. I, I have a hard time believing that unless he's... On some real anti-gravitational diet. Who knows? But he is going against Raw McManus, one of our veterans here tonight. Raw McManus with a big opportunity. And I'm pretty sure fans are going to hope that uh, maybe McManus can pull off the win that nobody else could do. And that is uh, defeat Daddy and become the X Division champion. Of course, the X Division, of course, the pioneer of the X Division was recently traded over to big time for as the player to be named later for Malachi Abramoff. Oh, yeah, I got to mention something about Su Su Chow. She is defending her title against Monica Del Rey type, but there's been a deal that's been struck. I guess Su Su Chow, who got traded over to big time for Anya, and Ron McManus had a fear. He had a fit. He went in the office. He let Chris Bad have it. He even cussed out Jay, too. He was really mad about that because I guess it's a feeling that he didn't want to be stalked by Sasha. I guess he feels like that uh, Susu can keep Sasha off of him. So they have traded back uh, Susu the Fury for Monica Del Rey. So Monica Del Rey will be here tonight, but it will be her last match on Fury unless she is the champion once again. And you know what that means? I guess that means the Vixens Club members are re are reunited. That means Jerry Missile, Melody Torment, Monica Del Rey, and Tracy Torment are all together. Good God Almighty. Let's get to the ring for this one, folks. Should be a good one. <laughs> Question is, if uh, Robert McMahon can't put down Daddy, who's going who's gonna to be able to put down Daddy? Yeah, that's the thing I want to know. But here is Ron McManus coming down to the ring. I heard tonight Yurohara Amini will defend her Tri-American titles against the guys who won a tag team match last week, uh, Luke Gall uh, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson. That's weird. AJ Styles is still on... Uh, it's going to be all alone now because he he was with the Good Brothers and now he's been shifted over to uh, big time and now uh, basically uh, that's what happens. It's like utter shock. Let's put it that way, man. I'll tell you that much right now. And there is McManus right there. But Lorenzo against Evan Magnificent should be interesting. But, of course, we've seen the return of Evan Magnificent last week and uh, the call of him. He's wearing tights with pictures of Lorenzo's wife on them, Kasha. I mean, that's uh, really a slap in the face to Lorenzo. What was even worse that Evan and Malachi got the victory over him when Evan made Lorenzo tap out to the backbreaker. Well, he didn't make him tap out. I heard that... Uh, a Lorenzo uh, blacked out. And, you know, understandably so. Especially the way they work on that back. And here comes Daddy, the X Division champion, with his advisor, Jake Roberts. And there's a mixed reaction for Daddy. Because I guess he's got that devious demon with him, Jake the Snake. And I'll tell you what, this should be an interesting bout. We do know that for the MSW world title, 
it is going to be John Monaco against Adam Strange. And I think on that card, Fury is going to have a little 10-man rumble to represent who's going to get the next title shot because Fury has been promised the next MSW World title shot. Of course, uh, the reason why Adam is defending against John Monaco was he wanted to defend against him. He told the offices, hey, I defended against Christopher. I beat him. Now, let me please defend against Monaco. I guess there's been a lot of respect from Adam Strange for John Monaco. And uh, you know what? That's, that's really good. I mean, these guys are like bending the, uh, bending the patch. It's really nice to see that. But right now, we got, uh, we're going to watch these two go at it. Here we go, folks. And there's that belt right there. Beautiful X Division belt. Got that big X across it and everything else. So I'll tell you I'll tell you that much right now. And there's Robert McManus right there. They call him Mighty Mouse because he's small in stature, but really big and big in heart. I'll tell you that much right now. And there's his opponent right there. That the so-called crew the so-called seven foot four cruiserweight daddy. And of course the offices did not buy it, so that's the reason why they changed the title from Cruiserweight to X to Cruiserweight to Light Heavyweight to X Division. So uh, now Daddy will have to take on all comers, and he's been doing pretty well. I mean, he even defeated Price Sanders on uh, Big Time Wrestling, and Blanchard was not too happy with it. So for the time being, who knows? And look at that arrogant son of a gun, Daddy. When he says he's going to do that one too many times, and oh, man, famous, sir. I say that way because the other, the other way is going to make, the other way is going to get the FCC fined, fining us a big amount of money, and I don't want to do that. We are on national TV. We're not on cable channel, we're just on national TV. I and mean, we don't want to do anything like that, man. Oh, McManus now. Oh, Bulldog. East Rutherford fans are just awful. Wow, look at them. Uh, you know, it's like McManus is fighting for them, and uh, they're getting, they're, oh, wait a minute. Now they're cheering. Okay, thank goodness. I was going to say that's not right. I mean, McManus has got more personality than John Cena. And I'll admit to it. I don't care what anybody says, I'm sorry. I'll call it what it is. Oh, and there's the Gator Roll. Gator Roll, the waist lock version. There's a front face lock version, and there's a uh, uh, waist lock version. And right there, you just saw Daddy nail the uh, waist lock version. Going for the pin. One. No. Only one. Oh my gosh. Oh man, what a savage chop by the X Division. Oh man. I think I heard Seth Rollins today has got a Tri American title defense in a triple threat match. He's going to be going against Blue Arrow and Ronnie Taylor. Still to come. You know, I, I think the uh, people get the right to pick the rematches uh, when they have a rematch clause, and they can pick it whenever they want, but they have to do it within a span of time. And uh, that's the reason why Corey Crichton did pick it for Thanksgiving. And of course, it is the big payday of the, uh, it, uh, always a pay for you, so it's a big payday of the year. But of course, I you know what? I heard about it from Bobby Lashley, too. I heard rumors is that him and Crichton did agree, uh, they invited uh, Amazing into the uh, triple threat match since he is a, uh, I guess he is a former champion. So, uh, you know, Crichton of all people, I guess Crichton's been trying to make amends as of late. Fans have seemed to forgive him, but there's like few wrestlers that haven't. Main event, I guess even Lashley has given uh, 
quite in a hand basically in his situation with uh, Blanchard Enterprises because the main event mafia has had problems with Blanchard Enterprises. Especially with Sting being put out of action by uh, a combination of Sanders and Ziggler. Let's put it that way. And uh, right now, what's McManus going to... Oh, McManus is calling for Daddy to get the heck up. And what's he going to do? Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man, he caught him. Nice. Of course, if you did not see the big-time opportunity uh, battle royals on... Uh, on what the heck was it? Uh, Tuesday night? Baby Boy Smith Jr. is now the big-time opportunity briefcase holder. While... Uh, Melody Torment has once again has that briefcase. Could this be her year? She's going to do something very historic. She can be the first woman to cash in a pot of gold and win the title and also cash in a big time opportunity briefcase and win a title. So that's that can be very historic meaning there, you know? I mean, let's put it that way. Oh man, he gets blocked and oh, daddy. Oh, ouch. Oh, that's nasty. Oh man. I hope McManus's uh, face is all right. Uh, he could have suffered a broken nose, and he's he is feeling it. Oh, good God. Oh! Daddy is freaking ruthless. Freaking ruthless. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, man. Oh, and McManus going at it. And, oh, man, rolls him back in the ring. Oh, but McManus gets the upper hand, and uh, here we go. Uh-oh. Could this be that top rope brain buster he does? He starts off like a superplex, and then he drops his head right on a turnbuckle, and uh-oh. Oh, man, he got stunned. Holy cow. And look at Jake Roberts. Come on, get him the heck out of there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy, he's setting up here. Oh, this could be the kill. This could be the mighty and all. Man. And Daddy's been busted open for the first time in a matchup. And he gets it. McManus is the X Division champion. Oh my gosh. History has been written here, folks. Robert McManus is the X Division champion. Congratulations. He worked his tail off for that one and sustained some damage. Wow. Let's give it up to him. I'll tell you what, man. That was a heck of a matchup. No doubt about it. <clears throat> Let's give it up to him. Wow. McMahon is stunning daddy to win the win the X Division title. He did it. Wow, there you go right there, folks. I don't know. I don't think Daddy's going to be a happy person after that. Yeah. I guess he doesn't like it when somebody wins on his parade. But nonetheless, there it is, folks. McMahon is happy, and Jake Roberts is looking disgusted. Very disgusted. I'll tell you that much right now. But, hey, it's wrestling. Sometimes it's your night. Sometimes it isn't your night. Let's put it that way. All right, folks, stay tuned. We got more action still to come. Stay tuned, folks. Should be a good one. Coming up next, Rhea Ripley against Mandy Rose. MSW Women's World Television Championship. The former champion gonna see if she can get back her title because Mandy Rose did cash in that big time opportunity briefcase 
and as a result, won the title in a match that also involved Diamond. And it was smart wrestling by Mandy Rose because she managed to dismantle Diamond to get the, I think, uh, dismantle either, man, I think it might have been Rhea Ripley to get the pin on uh, Diamond to win the title. I'll tell you that much, man. So, there you go. And, of course, we'd like to thank Dark Lake Studios again for the, uh, for the artwork for Maxim Risk. I mean, great job, guys. Whoa, okay. Whoa, wait a minute. We just got news. Amazing is in critical condition after he was found dried out his car with several knife wounds. Sources say it was in the parking lot of a Walmart in Ohio? And then there was also a message carved onto his shoulder that reads, Never! Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? Oh! Oh, this is sad. Wow! Oh! Man! Whew! Wow! Wow, oh man. Oh man, this is sad. Looks like Lashley and uh I don't know I don't know what's gonna be. I guess uh who knows, maybe Lashley and uh Creighton might have to find another partner tonight. Oh my gosh. This is blow away shocking. I'll tell you that much right now. Sorry we did not get the news, we just got it all of a sudden now. And here comes Mandy Rose. Who the heck could have done it? And there is Mandy right there. Very popular star here now. She started out her uh, career. She started out her career just uh, antagonizing the fans, but the fans have really called up to her ever since uh, she changed her tune. And now she's become one of the very popular female superstars on the big time roster. But right now, amazing is uh, wow! Oh my gosh! This might throw uh, I uh, yeah, this might throw an idea in uh, perspective. Oh my god. Oh man. Are you kidding me? Okay. And here is Rhea Ripley, the former two-time television champion. And there is Mandy Rose, the former two-time television champ, the uh, current TV champion. But she's also held that title a couple times before. And there is right there, man. And the fans, the fans love both of these. Uh, it's going to be hard to decide a winner if you're a wrestling fan, if you like both of these girls. I'll tell you how much right now. But uh, keep, keep, you know what? Keep amazing in your prayers, okay? Just, just do me a favor and do that. I mean, despite him uh, having the edgy attitude and everything as a late, but you know what? He's still a human being, for heaven's sakes. And right now, Mandy Rose is back in Rhea into the corner. Referee better get in there. Break it up. Come on, ref. And right now, Man Mandy starting off beautiful. Wash your leg sweep.
And now Rayo Ripley kicking at the back of uh, the champion. I mean, who knows, if Rayo wins this one, uh, we could wind up having a rubber match between these two. No doubt about it. You know, you know, there's a rematch clause, but that kind of like uh, gets contradicted when you got two competitors tied at one apiece. And Musty Wrestling loves to do a rubber match rule. I can tell you how much for during the years they've been around. Yeah, wow. Oh, man, beautiful. Wow, beautiful exploder suplex, T a.k.a. T-Bone suplex there by Royal Ripley on the TV champion. Wow. Oh, man, this is, yeah, this has been, uh, wow. What a wrench in the plans. Oh, man, there's a couple elbows. Oh, man, ouch. What a head and arm suplex by Australia's own Rail Ripley. A lot of great wrestlers from Australia. You got Shane Thorne right now who's missing in action, but of course, you know he's under another alias. There's also uh, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. There's also uh, Tennille Dashwood, a.k.a. the former Emma. And uh, what? Oh, are, what the heck? Oh, no, are you kidding me? Melody's going to cash in her briefcase on this? Are you? Oh, come on. Get out of town. Wow. When did the TV title become such hot property? You think she would have cashed in on a bigger title opportunity? But instead, she, oh, wait a minute, okay. Oh boy, oh no. Oh boy, here it is. The melodic tone, as she calls it. The righteous melody, that's what she calls it. I'm sorry. No, she can't, she can't put away Rhea Ripley with the righteous melody, and right now, Oh man, this is this is some crap on a stick here, ladies and gentlemen. You mean uh, there might be another uh, big time opportunity briefcase moment at uh, Payne's Giving? I think there is wrestling fans. I guess it must be a new role now that uh, basically, I guess now it might it must be a new role now that. Uh, Yo, know, if even if it is a big time briefcase, you can cash it on any show you want. Oh my gosh. Yeah, who the heck would ever see that happening? And that's it, Mandy Rose takes an opportunity that Melody missed out on and she gets the title. She wins she title. Wow. And I bet Melody's gotta be kicking herself in the derriere. Oh my gosh. She's got to be kicking herself in the derriere. No doubt about it. I would be. Heck, you would think you'd bigger opportunity, but I guess Melody's uh, desperate to get back in the spotlight. Who knows? That could be possible. But right there, folks, you just seen right there, uh, Mandy Rose retaining that title. What a bu what you know, I probably in Melody's mind she's gonna be thinking like, what a bunch of balarky. I'll tell you that much right now. That's what she's gonna be thinking. Wow. Mandy Rose still the champion. And she made it through uh not one but two. Alright folks, stay tuned, more action still to come. Oh boy, here comes Seth Rollins. Oh man. The Monday, the, uh, so, I guess he's calling himself now the Friday Night Messiah. Supposedly.
All right, folks, let's get this one going. <laughs> you know what? It's been a week now since I beat that snot nosed punk John Monaco, and he gets a shot at the MSW World Tell. Ridiculous. Let me tell you that much right now. I'm the Friday Night Messiah. I should get whatever I want. I'm the number one contender. I'm the Tri American Champion. And let me tell you something right now. But they're putting me against two bull dinghies tonight Blue Arrow and Ronnie Taylor. What the heck? Ronnie Taylor, he got beaten by some ugly, blonde, tall drink of water, drink of crap water named Jericho Wyndham. And then uh, Blue Arrow, he came to defeat a phony cruiserweight. Give me a break. I'll tell you that much right now. You know what, guys? You're screwing me over. Chris Bat, uh, Michelle Marquis, you're screwing me over. Let me tell you something right now. The, the Friday Night Messiah is not going to take this. I am not going to take this lightly. And you know what? I'm going to take these two bums that you like and smash them into a crap. I'm going to smash them into a garbage and put them down the outhouse. I'll tell you that much right now. Whoa, Nelly. Hold on. We got somebody coming down the ring. Oh, boy. Who's coming down the ring? Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. Christopher coming down the ring. What the heck? What? Oh, man. Christopher coming down in that $1,000 pink suit he's got on. Along with that silk black shirt. Well, well, if it isn't the Friday Night Butthead. Yeah, that's right, I called you a butthead, Seth Rollins, because you know what? You know what? You're way into everything, I'll tell you that much right now. Where are the moles on that MSW roster needs to burn for basically getting you into this area because you're worthless, buddy. And you're, you, you know what, tonight I'm gonna prove a point. Ah, what do you mean, Chrissy? What do you mean? You know what, number one, you're a big time wrestler. And number two, you're not even involved in this match, buddy. Let me tell you that much right now. And uh, you know what, you're gonna have to wait your turn, little boy. Little boy in pink. You know what, look at you. You pathetic pink weasel. Oh, you know what, I guess Chris Bat was actually nice to me. He told me that Ronnie Taylor's gonna be subbing for amazing in that six man match. And you know what? I asked him if I could be involved in it, and Chris Bat said, why not? Let's throw you, let's throw you in there. I guess he said he hopes that we both kill each other. How about that? That's what he said to me. Well, Chris Bat is an old pickle anyway. Let me tell you that much right now. He, you know what? The guy, all he knows how to do is throw wrenches in my way, and now you're just another wrench he thrown in the way. Well, that's fine. You and the Blue Arrow are going to suffer at the hands of the Messiah tonight. Thy will be done, buddy. No, no, no. Correction. Thy will be lost. And you know what's going to be lost? Your Tri-American title because it's going around my waist. And you know what? Because you know why? Because I am the best here in this federation. I'll tell you that much right now. I always seem to keep myself interesting, and you know what? Let me tell you something right now, Rollins. You're, you was it? You're just uh, desperate. Oh, I'm desperate. Come on, man. I'll tell you what. Right now, I'm not desperate. I'm just great. You gotta understand that. I am the Messiah. I'm the Messiah wrestling. I'm the Friday Night Messiah that keeps the ratings up high for Friday Night Fury. Don't you understand, Kurt? Don't you understand, Chrissy? You're just a delusional little twit. You're enough, like I said once again, you're nothing but a butthead. You and your little girlfriend, Becky Lynch. I'll tell you that much right now. 
You're not the power couple here. Me and Tracy Torman are. We're the hottest couple in the world, and wait till we reveal our new poster next week. I'm going to tell you that much right now. Poster? Oh, my gosh. So is going to be uh, you two dressed up in chicken suits? Come on, man. You're making me laugh here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're making the fans laugh, and I don't even agree with the fans half the time. But you know what? That's hilarious, man. I'll tell you that much right now. But you know what? You're going to be involved in this matchup? You bring it on, because you know what? I'm going to curb stomp you in the ground like I'm going to do the Blue Arrow tonight. Say whatever you want, Messiah. Let me tell you something right now. Once I get done with you, you're going to be raising my hand up. They're going to be putting that bell around me, and then they're going to say, Winner and Trinu. Try American Champion, the man in pink, the wrestling king himself, Christopher. And keep the, you better put that in your pipe and smoke it, man. I'll tell you that much right now. In your face. Oh boy. And wow. That's going to be interesting. A battle of two egos. I feel sorry for Blue Arrow. He's got, he's got to put up with both those egos tonight. Good God. Where did, where the heck did Blue Arrow go wrong in that deal? Tell you that much right now. Well, right now we got a debut of a couple new guys going against Bomber and Farkas. And it's going to be Finn Balor and Rey Mysterio going against Farkas and Bomber here. We're going to find out about that right now. And look at who's in their corner. Good guy, it's Ash Nugent. Are you are you freaking kidding me? Nugent got these two together. This is going to be a towering threesome. Oh man, are you are you freaking kidding me? So now Ronnie Taylor has volunteered to be in. Uh, To be the partner for Lashley and uh, Crichton. Oh, that, that's going to be more combustible elements. Because I'll tell you what. Crichton and Taylor don't even get along. I hope L Lashley is playing with combustible elements. They're trying to keep them together. And uh, I don't know. Good luck on that, man. If you do, then that's more power to you, buddy. When it, 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 hopefully, uh, I'm going to hope that Amazing gets all right and he comes back, man. I mean, it would be great. And I know that Ben has been edgy about stuff, but it's like, uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. Maybe edgy about stuff, but you you know what? Uh, basically, I still, you know, I still feel, yeah, you know what? You still feel bad for somebody because you don't want, you don't want that happening. Definitely. And here comes the, I guess the uh, mo the newest monster trio. Yeah.
And there he is, folks. Finn Balor coming out to the ring. One of the very popular stars here in the Federation. I'll tell you that much right now. Very, very uh, successful. He was like the first ever WWE Universal Champion. But that didn't even last 24 hours because he wound up messing up his shoulder in a match against uh, the guy that we just saw in the uh, previous promo there, Seth Rollins. But Fearing Bell right now is a member of the big time, uh, not the big time roster, Fury roster, so there you go. Here we go, folks. And now here comes... And this is going to be an interesting tag team. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, my gosh. And here we go, folks. I will be back. I'm going to go use for some. Right so sorry about that.
All right, folks, we are back here. As uh, we see, uh, Mysterio and Balor are doing a good job here. Wow. I'll tell you that much, man. boy and uh, oh boy Mysterio in trouble and New just loving what's going oh man that was nasty and once again oh gosh nasty backbreaker and now Finn Balor gets tagged back in and we'll see what he gets oh man and he couldn't even knock uh, Farkas off the street that's how that's how uh, much of an unstoppable force that Farkas can be. You need something really to knock him down in the tank. Well, I guess that worked. I guess uh, uh, sh a small shot there, small shot there. He did it. I'll tell you that much right now. Bowel right now going for the pin on Farkas. Oh no, he gets out. Oh and no, uh, Bowler gets caught in. Oh boy. Oh, one. And we know what this is. That's a dangerous trifecta of power bombs that Marcus loves to do to his opponent. And now, oh boy. Not going to be good. Oh boy, is he setting up for that pounce? Yeah. That crisscross shoulder. Oh man, and he pounced him. Wow. We got Farkas just uh, getting full of himself, and you know what? I guess rightfully so because he just drilled him. Oh, breaks it up, and now, but Mysterio and Children. Oh man, Mysterio just got drilled. Good God Almighty! And oh boy! Oh wow! Working over the knee now. Farkas going to work here on uh oh man and uh Mysterio just drop kicked him uh they better get out of there I think they might have a count of five and the referee's nailing it as uh good move there my Mysterio and right now what is Dowell gonna do here oh man what a shop and uh oh duck down drop kick Nugent brought the Bomber and the Baron together. I guess Bomber and Baron got in a fight because I guess of uh, situations where one didn't have a relationship anymore, the other one does now. And uh, But Nugent says, you two keep continuing to fight, you know, who's going to win is going to be the Wolfpack. And uh, they're just smiling in their back, busting up their chops, licking their chops, uh, take over the leftovers, as he, so as he says. And Bomber just... Uh, Oh man, look at that bomber just point. Oh man, and ooh. And now he hits with a third draw kick and it works. Oh, now in a uh, bomber now in trouble. Oh man, there's another draw kick. Working over that arm. Man. Oh, good God. 
And Mysterio, what is he playing hopeful here? Oh, this may not be good. And oh, Marcus missed it. He was going for a, uh, he was going for the kick him off the thing and never worked. Wow. Going for the pin and now, oh, and Farkas bulldozes his way there. To break up the pin. And now Nugent's just throwing a chair. Come on, Ralph. Get it out of there, man. Come on, man. That's all I gotta say. And Mysterio gets brought back in the hard way. Good gosh almighty. Wow. And Bomber just bombing the just bombing on uh, Mysterio like he does like he does to all opponents. But right now, yeah, Mysterio. Oh man, he just clobbered him the, with that powerful right hand. Oh man, there's a chop. Oh boy, son up. What's he gonna do here? Is it gonna be the Bratnall bomb? Oh man. Oh man, he thrusted him. Oh my gosh. That might be it. And he does it. The Baron and the Bomber. Under Ash Nugent's guidance, has basically won their match. Wow. What are Nugent said to him, or what kind of train of thought he gave him, it worked. This may be a this may be a ter this may be a scary threesome. <laughs> Champions beware, I, especially Alex Brimstone, because tonight I know Alex Brimstone. It's defending his title against Nugent because he called out Nugent, uh, basically saying he wanted to, yeah, he wanted to get in the ring, and so Nugent has uh, decided to get in the ring with him tonight. Wow. There you go, folks. All right, folks, let's get to the next matchup. I think it's going to be the wrong. It's going to be that 10-woman rumble to decide who's going to, who's going to be wrestling for universal and world titles tonight. And there's the uh, 10 women involved. Alexa Bliss, Anya, Asuka, Diamond, Jordan Grace, Chris Statlander, Miss Wonderland, Sakura Miura, Shati Blackheart, and Yorichi. Susu's not involved in any of his Monica Del Rey because they're going to be wrestling for the women's Tri American title. So, uh,. Here we go, folks. Let's get ready for this one, folks. Should be a good one. Ten Woman Rumble. Winner gets a Russell the uh, Universal Champion. The well, now we just now found out. Wait a minute. Oh boy, Nova's not here tonight either. So uh, we just yeah. Oh no. Oh wait a minute. Nova is in the building, but uh, yeah. I guess from what I heard from Amazing in the Hospital, I guess his son Matt is his uh, here tonight. Is here is at the hospital with him.
Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, oh, no. Nova is not here tonight. I'm sorry. So it's going to be the winner of this match gets a chance to wrestle for the MSW women's title. So uh, hopefully everything's all right. And here comes Statlander, who is also the pot of gold uh, briefcase holder, just to let you know. We stand corrected there. That's like, okay, we're trying to get all our details, man. number two. Oh, it's Asuka. Oh boy. Here we go. Asuka coming down the ring. The Empress of the the Empress of Tomorrow, as she calls herself. Should be an interesting mat. Should be an interesting start to this 10 Women Rumble. Well, yeah, during, uh, you know what, I got I to admit something right now. Uh, with that going on with Amazing, I don't blame uh, Nova for taking the night off. I'll tell you that much right now. Pretty sure she'll be there next Friday to defend the women's universal title. There we go, folks. Could be number three. Here comes Sakura Mira. Go, folks. Shotzi Blackheart coming in. Nobody eliminated yet. Yorichi coming in. The other half of your heart Shoten. No, they're yeah, they're a tag team, but oh. Oh man, I forgot oh.
Jordan number six. And there goes Joel Ricci. Loses. That wasn't supposed to help that she was wearing. Damn you, 2K. Usually sometimes when you change an outfit on somebody, you, you revert back to the original. And uh, the new outfit I had, the new outfit that we had for her was original. What's the original? I was in the original slot. I guess, uh, well, who knows? I guess we'll find out later on what's going on. And now, Sakura in trouble here against Jordan Grace. The only one eliminated here so far is Joe Alexa Bliss coming in at number eight. Oh boy. And one and two is still in there, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, one's got the uh, how to go a brief, uh, briefcase and oh wait a minute well number one's gonna go bye bye number one takes a two out of there <coughs> excuse me you know one moment I enjoyed the uh, great oh man somebody else just went out oh diamond's gone wow Miss Wonderland coming at number nine. Good night, Wonderland. Wonderland has been closed down for tonight. Wow. Oh, and Shotzi taking on the looks. Oh, man, and uh, somebody. Oh, Sakura just went over. Are you kidding me? Wow. And Asako's still in there. Do you, she's the oldest one. Anya coming in at number 10. Oh, boy. What's, oh, Jordan Grace was going to try to eliminate her and uh, does not work. Ball away slammed by the powerhouse Jordan Grace. Asuka hold on to their life and oh doesn't get it. Wow. Asuka going to work on uh, Shotzi. Uh-oh. 
Oh! There is a game changer of a power driver. And now, boy, did that star in uh, Jordan Grace. Jordan Grace might be seeing her uh, chances diminish to get that tell shot tonight. And Jordan Grace pulling away at the knee of Anya, the rushing redhead Russian. Oh man, and Shotzi Blackheart just nailed her. Oh, and Shotzi goes right up. Oh man. I give, I give Shotzi a lot of credit. She is a scrapper. And maybe that scrapper theory might work her tonight. To get that title shot, who knows? And right now, where is Anya going with a uh, little Miss Asuka? Oh, okay. Hands are in there, and oh, oh, boom, oh. If she rolls her on her stomach like a turtle, that could be it. And oh, Shotzi, and oh, and there goes Asuka. We're down to three, ladies and gentlemen. And Anya going to help Jordan Grace. Wow, talk about word alliances. And there goes the ballsy. That is from the Black Lagoon, excuse my politeness there. Gotta call her what she is, and uh, that's what her nickname is. Wow. Jordan Grace or Anya is going to wind up with the big opportunity here. And oh man, clothesline by Jordan Grace with authority. And uh oh, set it up. Oh, uh oh, got like three amigos almost. And yeah, you can see that happen. Wow, with authority right there, man. I'll tell you what. Oh, trying to get her, get rid of her again. She's gonna do it. Ah, she's gonna have to kick her off now. Oh, now she's kneeling at the knee of Jordan Grace. Ow, that's gonna hurt. Oh, and Anya, wow. Anya with a headbutt. Oh, oh, man, DDT with authority. Good God almighty. Oh, and there's a fireman's carry by Jordan Grace. Oh, man. Oh, Spine Buster. That is one powerful move right there. Holy cow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. And Anya's going over, folks. Wow. Jordan Grace will win the title shot against Cheyenne. Later on, wins the title shot, and she'll be wrestling Cheyenne for the MSW Women's title later on tonight. Wow. What a victory, what can I say? And there she is, folks, Jordan Grace. Thick mama pump it. She like, I keep I keep hearing what's that that's what they call her.
And there you go, folks. No, you're not going to WrestleMania, but you're getting a you're getting a big. It feels like WrestleMania because you're getting a big title shot against uh, Cheyenne later on tonight. No doubt about it, man. All right, folks. Ash Nugent against Alex Brimstone. And so far, uh, B&B's been 1-0 uh, and so far with Bomber and Farkas winning against uh, Finn Balor and Rey Mysterio. Now tonight, it's Ash Nugent taking on Alex Brimstone. This match was made after Brimstone told Nugent to shut up. He's like, if you got the balls, to come, to meet him in the ring next week. And here we are, folks. Of course, Brimstone's got momentum going because he just defeated Cesaro Tuesday night. And he may, I mean, not Tuesday night, Monday night, and he may look easy. I got to admit, Alex Brimstone may look easy because a Swiss Superman is some very tough competition. All right, folks, let's get this one going. Here we go, folks. Oh boy, here we go. Baron on them. Oh man, here they are. B and B. Baron, Nugent, and Bomber. But Nugent's gonna be wrestling here right now as he as uh Bar Farkas and Bomber may have put themselves back in a tag team competition by defeating Finn Balor and Rey Mysterio earlier in this broadcast. That was a tough one, but you know what? They made it through. I mean Finn Balor and uh Rey Mysterio, they may be small guys, but they're no slouches. No doubt about it. Later on time, we're going to see Jordan Grace uh, challenge Cheyenne for the women's world title. And then we just heard something. Anya, I guess uh, it was supposed to be the winner gets universal title shot. The women runner-up gets women's world. I guess now it's going to be Anya against Nova at Painsgiving. And there's Brimstone with, of course, his advisor, the Pope. Elijah Burke. But it's going to be a the numbers game and may play a part in this. You got Nugent who's going to have Bomber and uh, Baron there. And then you got Brimstone who only has the Pope with him. Here we go, folks. There's that beautiful world television title. Nugent, I'm actually surprised he would... You know, I was actually shocked when he came back. And there is Alex Brimstone, the television champion.
All right, and Nugent, oh, going right after Brimstone. Wow. Oh, and again, with a close eye on Brimstone. It's hard to keep the, keep the, oh, and he just nailed the seven-foot draw for Giant finally with three clotheslines. And now, Br oh, and Nugent now, wow. Take it to uh, Brimstone here. Oh, nasty elbow right to the forehead. I would be careful. If I was Brimstone, I'd be careful about being thrown over to the side of the ring where they got Bomber and Baron Von Farkas over there. And, oh, Brimstone, a humongous knee left to the face of Nugent. But you know what the scary thing about Bomber, Nugent, and Bob Farkas can be? They got potential to be like the next Freebirds. That's the scary thing about it. If these guys keep their heads on straight. And look at Farkas just looking at him. Oh, and there you go. Oh, man. And there you go. Bomber churn on his... Uh, tag team partner at one time because these guys did defeat the Road Warriors at one time to become the MSW tag team champions true fact and Nugent just plowed into a brimstone with that clothesline and now oh he what a kick to the back knee first in that back area shoulder back and shoulder and now Oh, and Nugent just got thrown like a sack of potatoes. Oh, man, and now uh, what a shoulder block with a flip. Oh, and, and oh, and he is him. Oh, man, and he dodged it this time at all. What a clothesline. Man, back and forth out between these two, uh, Gladiators. And now Nugent. And oh, another elbow to the head. Going for the pin. But nah, not, yeah, not able to get it. Nugent right now, going right after uh, Rimstone here. And right now, oh, Russian leg sweep by the uh, by the uh, Pat Woods Bruiser from uh, Montgomery, Alabama. Oh, oh man, reverse DDT. Wow, kind of like what Scary used to use in the WWF. Oh, are you kidding me? Nugent just took the TV title from Brimstone. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. This trio may be on to something. That's 2-0 they went tonight. Oh, my gosh. Say it isn't so. I'm pretty sure there'll be, there's going to be a rematch between Brimstone and uh, Nugent. I wouldn't doubt it. There should be. And the Pope is in disbelief. Wow. Ash Nugent, the new TV champion. Oh, this is nuts, folks. And I'm talking about I'm not talking about Sunday with nuts, chocolate, chocolate, uh, chocolate topping, whipped cream, and cherry either. Nuts. I'm talking about really just crazy. Nugent and uh, Farkas and Bomber have busted out of the scene. Well, we're gonna go take a uh, a little bit of intermission, but we'll be back with the second segment. Stay tuned. <laughs> 